to honor His Excellency the late Benjamin William Kappa's pivotal role in the African Leadership Forum, we present to you his hopes for the forum and major tenets on Africa's advancement. His Excellency Benjamin William Kappa initiated the African Leadership Forum in 2014. Well, as President um, Becky has pointed out, we have a mass of resolutions and volumes of consensus on a succession of meetings at uh, national, regional, and continental levels. First, we don't sit back often enough to review what has happened <coughs> in those resolutions and the consensus. We don't discuss enough whether we have adequate institutions for implementation. We don't uh, stop or get together to review each other's experiences in implementation of agreed policies. Um, we don't get together to review the impact of our resolutions on our own societies, but also what is elicited from the extracontinental um, uh, powers and, uh, and, and, and organizations. And, and this is really what the challenge is about. We can refine the resolutions, we can refine the decisions, we can make them more responsive to, to changes, whether the effect of globalization or regional integration. But we must have a, a mechanism, a forum regularly, where we can, we can review progress. His Excellency was instrumental in determining the theme and encouraging the proactive participation of prominent African leaders in the six forums held from 2014 to 2019. But most importantly, he took an active part in the discussions. As his nickname goes, Mze wa Ukweli Nawazi, His Excellency the late Mkapa encouraged frank, open, and in-depth discussions during the African Leadership Forums to help identify realistic ways to support African leaders overcome the pressing and strategic challenges facing their countries. I'm hoping that uh, because of the discussions that uh, former heads of state and basing on their experience while they were in government, um, we can have insights that will governize the process of uh, transformation by present leaders. And we do that by sending them our, not resolutions, but our, 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 our conclusions uh, so they can work on them if they want to. Um, but especially alerting them to the kind of uh, dangers that can impede uh, the rapid and sustainable development of our country. His Excellency the late Mkaba strongly believed that Africa's transformation can only be achieved through self-reliance. Africa must develop itself and must own the process of transformation. Ladies and gentlemen, the world today is characterized by rapidly advancing disorientation and dysfunction. Big power alliances are coming apart. Small power integration is proceeding at snail's pace. International cooperation is less professed and may stand out not in profession but in malpractice. Development aid is increasingly questioned because it is seen as a dirty word. Africa is seen much more as a source of minerals and its migrants are not only resented in Europe but are left to die as they strive to cross the Mediterranean. In such a chaotic world environment, Africa must review its development perspective and strengthen its capacity for self-reliance. We are Africans. We are not Americans. We are not Europeans. We are not Japanese. There must be characteristics that define us in terms of our history, of our values, etc., etc. And we must transform without abandoning that uniqueness that makes us Africans. Uh, I would emphasize this especially for the youth, because as the globe um, grows to be finer and closer, we, we, we tend to think about the superiority of more ancient countries, 
or longer, 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 longer known countries, and we call ourselves new and developing countries. But that does not mean that we are any, we are any deficient in values, in unity, in humanity. So don't model ourselves on the Americans, particularly culturally and educationally and so on, or on the Europeans or any other. Let us find an African cultural base. Let us find an African aspirational base. Let us find a, a process of transformation which strengthens our unity and reinforces our identity. That's what I, I, I would urge. No one else is going to develop us. We are going to have to develop ourselves. And that way earn the respect of those others. We, cooperation, as the president was saying, we must learn to work together. Africans must realize, you know, you can't say this country, it is because it is by itself. No, I am because we are. Otherwise we won't get any place. What I'm most clear about is uh, the primary stage of transformation for our people, uh, which is conquering the scourge of poverty in the sense of hunger, bad health, lack of water, uh, enough, uh, enough food. Uh, and this can be done at relatively low financial cost but a great human spirit of determination. And this requires leadership which is inspired and a population which is responsive because it knows that it is included in the development and transformation process. The question is whether we have the resolve to tackle these problems ourselves. And that is the key. If you have the resolve, you must try and you will achieve something. Not all of it, but to achieve something. It's that will, that resolution, that self-assurance that will drive us forward towards greater unity, towards greater cooperation, and achieve results. But you must believe in what you are doing, what you are professing, and what you are mobilizing your colleagues and your people around. His Excellency Benjamin William Kappa devoted his life to the advancement of Africans. May current and aspiring leaders preserve and continue his legacy so that we Africans may all benefit from sound leadership and sustainable development.